Okay, so I'm just going to start recording now. And I'm also going to uh, mute you all. You can unmute yourselves if you, uh, if you wish to speak by unmuting or pressing the space bar. Um, and welcome, everyone. We're going to look at some aspects of Declare a Play today. And I'm going to start by um, uh, sharing my screen with you. Let me just find the right screen. This one here, sorry. Okay. And um, with any luck, you can all uh, see my screen there. Um, and I wanted to look at some hands that involve um, unblocking by declare or thinking about your entries. And this is such an important um, part of declare a play. We all hate it when we get stuck in the wrong hand and you have winners that you can't uh, get to. So um, the, the, the key, I suppose, is to try to plan in advance exactly how it's going to go. And I wanted to start with the hand that was actually played um, when we were still all together. Um, this was a hand that was played on a Friday afternoon and nearly everyone ended up in four spades on it. And um, uh, no one actually made 10 tricks, as it turns out. So let's have a look at this. You opened a spade. There was a two diamond over call. Your partner jumps to four spades and they lead the ace of diamonds. And immediately we can see we're in a bit of a problem in diamonds because we have three immediate losers in that suit. Now, when you have a hand like this, it's normal in a suit contract to try and work out your losers. And often you do it from the point of view of your own hand, but taking dummy into account as well. But on a hand like this, where actually dummy has more trumps than you, North has got five trumps compared to your four, it can actually be slightly easier to make a plan looking at it from the point of view of dummy, but taking into account all your strengths in your hand. And I think that is the case on this one. So in other words, if we look at this from dummy's point of view, how many losers can we identify? How many spade losers have we got? Yeah, we've got none, haven't we? I'm sure some of you are speaking, but you're muted. So <laughs> that's fine. Um, we've got none. You, you can unmute yourselves if you, if you have to want to ask a question, but uh, otherwise we get too, too much background noise. So we've got no, no spade losers. In hearts, in the north hand, we have two potential losers, don't we? We have three diamond losers, which it looks like we're going to lose right away. And we have no club losers. We've got the ace and king of clubs, uh, as well as the queen and jack. In fact, those clubs will provide two extra tricks on which we can discard two of our losers. So rather than thinking about roughing any hearts, we're actually going to uh, discard those on the clubs. And the other way of uh, looking at a hand like this is actually to try to count your winners. Um, some people like to do this, um, although in a suit contract, often counting your losers is more um, uh, 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 more, more useful. But you can count your winners if you like. It comes to one, two, three, four, five spades, one heart, and four clubs, which is five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So either way, it comes to ten tricks, and that's what you uh, expect to make. The only thing you have to be careful of in the club suit is unblocking, making sure that you play the clubs in the right way so that you don't. Uh, uh, waste any clubs and you take all four clubs. So the opponents uh, start off by uh, leading a diamond and um, <clears throat> suppose they cash three rounds of diamonds, you can't really do anything about that. And then they switch to a heart. Well, we don't want to risk any more heart losers here, so we go up with the ace. All right. Uh, now we want to draw trumps before we play the clubs. And there are different ways you could play this, but let's suppose you just start by playing one round of trumps, another round, okay, West discard. So there's one more trump out, but we'll get rid of that. And now the trumps have gone, all you need to do is to cash your four clubs. And it just takes a little bit of care. Start with the queen and jack first, and then you've got a, an entry back to the south hand, trumps, and you can cash your last two uh, clubs, discarding your losers 
and you'll make your uh, 10 tricks there. Okay, any comments on any of that? I know it's easy when you can see all four hands, isn't it? Um, let's try uh, another one. Uh, here you end up in a contract of four hearts. So North has opened a spade and you as South, you've got 10 points. That bit of two hearts should promise a five card suit. It's the only time that bidding a new suit um, in response to one of a suit promises a five card suit. So your partner is right to raise you with only three. And there they've got, I think, 16 points. Assuming you've got at least 10, uh, that should be enough for four hearts. And the opponents, once again, start by um, on diamonds, which is, as you see, your, your weaker suit here. Now, how are we going to make 10 tricks here? Where are we in danger of losing tricks? Well, we've got, um, looking at it from South's point of view, we've got no losers there, hopefully no heart losers. We've got three diamond losers, which it looks like we might lose straight away. And we have some club losers. Now, you could be thinking in terms of the club finesse at some point. But um, another, a much better option is to try to discard all those losers on your spades. And in fact, if you count your winners on this one, you'll see it's similar to the last one. We've got one, two, three, four, five hearts, hopefully. Hopefully, we'll make um, at least four or five spades and we've got one eight so that should be at least 10 or 11 tricks unfortunately the opponents are going to start with diamonds and we're going to lose three tricks right away so the east overtakes the ace okay the ace plays a diamond back and they play three rounds of diamonds okay now they switch to a club and of course we're not going to risk any finesse here because we hope to make our contract with those spades. So we cash the ace. Um, and it's a very good idea, whenever you have a, a holding like this, like this singleton ace of spades, to try and get rid of that um, right away. So let's play that uh, there so it doesn't block the suit. Uh, and now we hopefully will be able to get back to dummy and cash our spades. But of course, before we do that, we want to draw trumps. The slight difficulty on this hand is to remember that we only have one entry now to the north hand, which is the ace of hearts. So we hope to take that last. And we hope we get a reasonable distribution in trumps, king, queen. And now when now there's one trump out, it uh, can be taken with the ace, and we take it. And at the same time, we gain entry to dummy so we can cash our uh, remaining spade. In fact, all the spades are good now, and we'll uh, actually make our contract now, we'll make our 10 tricks. Anyone have any uh, questions on that one? Anyone have any comments? Give you a moment. Okay, let's try another one. Here's one in no trump. Someone was asking me the other day how to play no trump, and uh, unfortunately there's no simple answer to it. Um, it's all a matter of you know, entries, establishing suits. And this is an example involving both those topics. You open two no trump, your partner bids three clubs. That's not uh, showing a club suit, that's Damon asking if you've got a four card major. You have a uh, four card spade suit, so you bid three spades and they go back to three no trump because that wasn't their suit. So they leave the queen of diamonds and let's stop by counting our top tricks. So how many spades have we got? One there. How many hearts do we have to make? We have to make four heart tricks. Although, as you can see, the suit's got a bit of a blockage in it. Okay. We've got two top tricks in diamonds, which is seven tricks, and two top tricks in club, which is nine tricks. So we should be able to make our nine tricks here. But certainly when you're playing in a pairs game, um, it's a good idea to try to get the most possible tricks here. Um, and can you see the clubs provide a good source of extra tricks here? We have eight clubs between us and dummy. So if the opponent's um, clubs divide evenly, um, we should be able to make uh, all except one of those tricks. We're going to lose one, but we hope to make the rest. So to give ourselves a chance, 
we're going to try to make as many clubs as possible. Let's win this one. And there are different ways you could start to play this hand. You could start with the hearts, but let's suppose we decide to play the clubs. Given that you're going to lose a trick, it's not a bad idea to play low here on the first club, expecting to lose it, because now when we regain the lead, we'll be able to take this suit without any problem. So they take the jack, let's say, maybe switch back to a diamond, which we take. And let's suppose we start off now with the uh, second round of clubs and we play another club. Now, if you're thinking when I'm playing, I always like to double check uh, my counting at this point. Eight clubs have gone, all right, two rounds, and I've got nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's one club outstanding. So my clubs are now established. I've done what I wanted to do and I'll be able to make all those club tricks. Before I do that, of course, I need to think about those hearts and I need to get rid of that blockage in hearts by starting off with the ace and queen. Okay, some people I know on this hand will sort of overtake the queen with the king, but that's unnecessary. That risks only making three tricks. Just play low, because you've still got an entry to dummy, your club. Okay, and now you're in dummy, you can cash the remaining clubs, cash the remaining hearts, and take your last uh, spade. So you actually make 11 tricks there uh, by... Uh, careful play of the uh, clubs and then the hearts. Anyone have any comments or questions on this, that one? I hope you're all still there. Okay, um, let's try one more. Um, here you've opened a diamond and your partner responded one spade. Now, here I think you've actually got 19 points. Um, uh, so... Once your partner's bid one spade, it's sort of, uh, you have a tricky bid here. Um, your hand isn't really balanced, but the, the suit with your singleton is the one your partner bid. So you're probably going to be okay there. Um, your partner's shown at least six points, so I think three no trump is probably a good bet there. And let's suppose your opponent's lead a heart. Down comes dummy, and let's try and uh, make a plan here. Again, we're going to start off by counting our top tricks and then look opportunities for more. Well, in space, we hope to make four tricks here, although we'll come back to that in a moment because it's uh, slightly tricky to, to make those four tricks. But we do have four top tricks if we can make them. We've got um, two tricks in hearts at six. No top tricks in diamonds. There's a chance for um, some tricks there, I suppose. And we've got one trick in clubs for sure. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven top tricks. How can we make more tricks? Well, clubs offers a good chance to make um, two more tricks, doesn't it? Even if we lose to the king, we've got the um, ace, queen, jack, ten. So we hope we should make another two tricks to go along with our ace, and that would be our nine tricks. So if we can do that, that will come to just nine tricks. The problem here is the spade suit. So let's suppose we win this first trick with the um, ace. And in line of what we like to do when we have this kind of blocked on a situation, it's not a bad idea to get rid of that ace right away. So if we do get to dummy, we'll be able to cash our spades. So we've done that. Um, and now we want to get to dummy somehow. And it's not obvious, but we actually do have a club holding that will allow us to get to dummy. Because we've got the jack and ten of clubs in dummy, we should be able to get there by playing clubs twice. In other words, we're going to lead, not worry about finessing, we're going to lead a club here and play over to the jack or the ten. And if one of those loses to the king, which we expect, we've still got another one to get back over there. So... In other words, we don't have an immediate entry to dummy, but we can force an entry by leading that suit twice. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to play a club here, play the jack or the ten. Uh, and if the opponents let that win, which they could happen, now we've got to dummy. If they didn't, we would be able to play another club to get back to dummy. But now we're in dummy, 
we're going to catch our remaining uh, spades. It's our last time over here, so we better catch them. Throw away uh, some losers there. And uh, now we've made six tricks, and we just want to make uh, at least one heart and two clubs here. So we're, we're expecting now to lose uh, a trick to the king. You could try the uh, finesse, but here it loses to the king. Whatever they play now, though, we can get back in and we can cash out two clubs. So we'll make our nine tricks. I don't think we'll make any more after this. They'll take their, uh, uh, their tricks. Okay. So if we just bring up the four hands again, you can see the hands and you can see the difficulty you had in, in getting to dummy. But there was just about a way to do it with that club suit. Anyone like to um, say anything at this point? Okay, I hope you're all still with me. Let's try another one. This one is um, quite a funny one in a way. This one is, is sometimes one you get printed in puzzle books um, as to how to make this contract because it's not obvious what the problem is here. Um, you open one no trump and your partner's got um, 13 points, no major, so raises you to three no trump. Um, and the opponents make quite a helpful lead here by leading a spade. Now, that spade lead actually guarantees you two spade tricks. As long as you don't play the ace from dummy here, as long as you play low from uh, dummy here, can you see you're going to make a trick with your queen? Either the king will win over here, and you'll make a, a trick with your queen, or if they don't, you can win a trick with the queen and still got the ace. So that, although we count one spade trick to, to be sure to start with, once they've led a spade, we can be sure of two tricks there. So we've got two spade tricks, two heart tricks, no diamonds. Okay. Um, and what about the clubs? Well, with a normal club distribution, you would expect that uh, we've got nine cards there. We'd expect a two, two or a three, one distribution. You'd expect to make all five clubs. Okay. So that would be five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it looks fairly straightforward, but the problem is the club suit. The problem is that the clubs contain what's called in bridge terms an internal blockage. And what that means is that if you start off with the ace, king, queen, and play your low clubs here, you'll win the fourth trick with your eight, and then you won't be able to get back to dummy. So once you see this, it's fairly plain sailing. You just need to unblock your clubs so that you can make all five clubs. So let's play low from dummy. If the king appears, that's fine. Suppose they play another spade, which we win with the ace. And here we are in dummy for the last time. So we're going to try and take our five clubs. And all you need to do when you play the ace is to make sure you get rid of those high clubs from your hand, play the six, the seven, and the eight, okay, that's all the clubs gone. And now there's nothing to stop you cashing your last two club tricks. Then you've got uh, a heart to get back to your hand. You could risk uh, a finesse here, I suppose, although you're now extremely vulnerable in diamonds if you uh, did risk it. So let's maybe take our ace and king and we can take our ninth trick with the queen of spades. Okay, that's probably gonna be it for us. But we'll make our nine tricks there. Any comments or, or questions on that one? That one is easy once you once you've seen it. Um, Tony, Tony. Yes. Hello, Francis. I'm sorry, I must have fallen asleep. Uh, can you please play the clubs again? Yes. Because you don't want them getting in with diamonds, do you? No. So so we're going to cash our five clubs here. So all we do when we're going to but if they're divided for, you mean? Okay. If if they were if, they, if, it, if they're divided four nil, then they get in and do their diamonds. That's right. So we we can't make this. If if the clubs were divided four zero, which mm. uh, then we will we'll only make three clubs. Okay. So there's no way no way back to dummy. Yeah. So you keep your two and your three, so you can get back to dummy. Yeah. We we keep we keep the two at the end. 
yeah. yeah okay so so you can see if you um uh you know if you play this link out and i, I think it will it it tells you basically that if you if you discard the two here you'll mm. be defeated okay yeah. you need to keep yeah. the two at the end uh, yeah to avoid okay. that one thank you sure. anyone else anyone anyone else got any other uh comments um a couple more involving uh unblocking and and here's a slightly tricky one this is one that involves unblocking in in two suits it's it's not easy but we've got we all go one no trump three no trump here which looks like a great contract um the opponents need a spade, which is our weaker suit. We just have to find a way to make um, nine tricks here. So if we count our tricks, we've got one spade. We hope to make four hearts, although that suit is blocked. And we hope to make at least four or five clubs, although that suit is also blocked. That suit also has these um, uh, this blocked situation where we need to unblock the ace king and then play the other suit. And we've got a diamond as well. Um, so we've got enough tricks if we can uh, make them all. Um, and let's just see what's the right way to play this. Suppose we win the first trick with the ace here. Well, that's fine. We, we now need to um, uh, take our tricks here. And you've got to worry about two suits here. What, what's happened here? Because they led the ace, uh, because they led the spade and we played the ace, it's knocked out our only entry to the north hand apart from the uh, the heart suit so you need to think very carefully about the order in which you take the tricks and what's important on this hand is that we don't have an entry to the north hand in spades but we still have an entry to the south hand in diamonds so we're going to keep that entry so that we can take all these tricks and you need to have a little plan at this hand about the order of the so should we try the hearts first or should we try the clubs first and the way to think about it is you really need to plan how you're going to play this suit and it works out best on this hand to actually start off with the clubs here let's see what happens we take the king and the ace okay um and then we can play the hearts, the ace and the king. Now we can take our remaining clubs. Okay, all the clubs are good in fact, so we cash them all. And now we still have an entry to the last hearts because we have the ace of diamonds. So that's why we played that suit, uh, those suits in that order. And we'll make uh, 11 tricks there. The opponent will take the last two tricks. Um, now, I've got the same hand here, but with a different lead. So if I switch to this screen here, let's suppose that the opponent, instead of leading uh, a spade, that they lead a diamond. Now, this now changes the way in which we must play the suits, because uh, that king of diamonds is going to knock out the ace, which is the only entry to the south hand. But we still have the ace of spades, which is an entry to the north hand. So it actually works out uh, that the way to make this trick now, this contract now, is to win the ace. And last time we played the clubs first um, because we still had an entry to the south hand. But now because we've got an entry to the north hand, we're going to play the hearts first. We play the hearts now, okay, then the clubs. And now we're, um, we're now we're in a good position to take uh, our clubs. Of course, before we do that, we get rid of our last two heart tricks. Okay, and then we can cross over to the Ace of Spades, our only entry, and take our remaining clubs. So um, on a hand like this, you really need to work out in advance. Take take a minute at trick one. It's not always easy, but try and figure out the order in which you're. Um, the order in which you're going to take your tricks in order to um, unlock the suit. Okay. And we've got one last um, example here. This is also a sort of puzzle one. Um, North opens a club. There's a one heart over call. South bids two diamonds. North bids two spades. And 
you've got a heart stopper there. So I suppose you've been to no Trump and you're part of it's free no Trump. They leave a heart and down comes dummy. And it's very hard to um, uh, actually make this contract unless you really plan carefully at trick one. I mean, we seem to have bags of tricks here, don't we? We have all these clubs and all these um, diamonds. We've got uh, five diamonds, six clubs, um, and the ace of hearts. So we should be able to make our contract here. But what's the problem on this hand? Well, well the problem is that there's a, a blockage, isn't there? Um, so if we were to win this trick with the ace of hearts, let's say, we would have a real problem taking both the clubs and the diamonds, right? If we start off with the uh, diamonds, we'll get over there, but have no way back to this hand because of that singleton um, ace. Uh, or similarly, if we were to take the clubs, we'd be able to take the ace, but again, have no entry over there, okay? So there's really only one good hope for this hand, which is actually to get rid of that ace of diamonds. And on this hand, what we have to hope for is actually that the opponents persist with hearts, that we let them win the uh, first two rounds of hearts. And now <clears throat> when they play the third round, the easy way to make this contract now is what's called a jettison play. You actually throw away the ace of diamonds and now you, you've unblocked the hand, you've jettisoned that that ace. That's great fun if you can do it. Um, and now we can take all our tricks because we got rid of that ace. So now we can take all our diamonds and then switch back to clubs and take all the remaining clubs. In fact, we would claim at this point, you know, if you're playing on BBO, you should uh, not, not play everything. Once the outcome is clear, as it is here, you should just uh, claim and uh, say you're going to make all the remaining tricks there. All right. So um, so that's how to make that. That's a jettison play. And um, it's uh, quite interesting if you can do it. Um, does anyone have any uh, questions at this point? That was the last one I wanted to uh, talk to you about. I'm going to unmute you all if you wish to speak. Anyone have any comments? Thank you. Yeah, I hope you followed that. There will uh, there will be some uh, uh, hands involving unblocking uh, in the hands at uh, two o'clock today. So, um, anyone else have anything to say while we're just uh, let you just stop sharing for a minute? I don't think so. Thank you. No. Okay. I hope that was all clear. It's easy on the screen. It's harder in real life. I know. Indeed. I indeed. Thank you, Tony. Okay, well, thank, thank you all. You, see you all at uh, you. 2 o'clock. Thank, uh, thank you. See you all soon. Bye then. Bye. Bye-bye.